You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available in the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, stocktwits.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the optionsinsider.com. The Options Insider Radio Network is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. At Fidelity, you'll always get a great value for your options trades. And with powerful investing tools that provide clear next steps, plus independent research and a wide range of investment types, we can help you make better trading decisions. Learn more about options trading with Fidelity at fidelity.com backslash options. Options trading entails significant risk and is not appropriate for all investors. Certain complex option strategies carry additional risk. Before trading options, contact Fidelity Investments by calling 800-544-5115 to receive a copy of the characteristics and risks of standardized options. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC, member NYSC SIPC. Good morning. Today is Friday, November 16th, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Friday. First thing to know is the pound is steady, even as the UK Prime Minister may face a confidence vote. The pound registered slight gains against the dollar on Friday, recovering slightly after its worst daily decline since October 2016 in the prior session, as uncertainty over a deal between the UK and the European Union over Brexit skyrocketed, with British Prime Minister Theresa May likely facing a vote of no confidence. Sky News reported that government officials have been told to cancel engagements and return to London in preparation for the vote, which requires a motion from just 48 officials. The threshold is expected to be reached later on Friday, with the vote reported to be likely next Tuesday. The hostility from government and opposition lawmakers raised the risk that the deal would be rejected in the UK Parliament and that Britain could leave the EU on March 29th without a safety net. Second thing to know today is China trade talks have not halted U.S. tariff plan. Recent hopes that trade tensions between China and the U.S. may be receding on reports of continuing talks ahead of U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping at the G20 summit later this month began to fade as officials deemed a deal to be unlikely. A senior Trump administration official told Reuters on Thursday that China's written response to U.S. demands for trade reforms received earlier this week was unlikely to trigger a breakthrough deal. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Leitzner on Thursday denied a report that he had told some industry executives that another round of tariffs on Chinese imports had been put on hold as the two nations pursued talks. Quote, the plan for tariffs has not changed at all. Any reports to the contrary are incorrect, a spokesman for Leitzer's office said in a statement. The third thing to know today is NVIDIA's disappointing outlook hammers chip stocks. NVIDIA's forecast, er, NVIDIA forecast disappointing sales of its, of its chips for the holiday quarter in a woeful reminder of reported weakness in Apple suppliers, sending tech stocks in the semiconductor sector sprawling. Shares of NVIDIA plunged 17% in Friday's pre-market trade, tainting advanced micro-devices with losses of 5%. Friday's earnings schedule will be sparse with the focus on Viacom, whose results are expected ahead of the opening bell. Fourth thing to note today is NASDAQ expected to lead losses on Wall Street. 
as hopes for a thawing of trade tensions between the U.S. and China fade to the backgrounds and uncertainty between possible Brexit deal between the U.K. and EU rise. U.S. futures pointed to a lower open on Wall Street. NVIDIA's disappointing outlook hit sentiment on tech stocks with the NASDAQ expected to lead the losses. Uh, elsewhere, European stocks struggled to recover over a rough week where Brexit tensions and worries over the Italian budget sent shares sprawling. Investors remained cautious as they waited for the UK to make a move on whether to oust Theresa May from power. And the fifth thing to know today is oil rebounds as attention turns to hopes for output cuts. Oil prices surged on Friday, recovering part of a sharp weekly decline as attention began to turn to hopes that OPEC would be able to reach a meaningful deal to cut output and tackle rising supply at its policy meeting in Vienna on December 6th. U.S. crude was on the rise for a third consecutive session, pairing weekly losses to below 5%. As reports on Wednesday suggested that OPEC was mulling a plan with Russia and other allies to cut production by 1.4 million barrels in order to rein in the recent decline in prices and rebalance the market. Our second story today is from CNBC.com. Tesla cuts prices on solar power systems as it looks to entice customers. Tesla has reduced prices on its solar power systems as it looks to make sustainable energy use more affordable. As a result of the vertical integration of our solar products into Tesla's retail stores and the increased efficiencies we've realized over the past year by closing more expensive sales channels like door-to-door -door sales, we are now able to reduce prices for our solar power systems, a Tesla spokesperson told CNBC in a statement on Friday. This pricing change would help Tesla's average customer make savings between $3,000 and $4,000, the spokesperson added. This change, along with our push to continue shortening the time between sale to installation, will accelerate the adoption of solar and the world's uh, transition to sustainable energy. In an interview with Reuters on Thursday, Tesla's senior vice president of energy operations, Sanjay Shah, said the price reductions should make the firm highly competitive. Shah added that the business wanted to become the lowest cost solar provider in the U.S., Reuters reported. And our final story today is from cmegroup.com. CME Group Energy Futures and Options Volume reaches a record 5.1 million contracts. CME Group, the world's leading and most diverse derivatives marketplace today, announced its suite of energy futures and options reached a daily trading volume record of 5,103,881 contracts on Wednesday, November 14th, surpassing the previous record of 5,067,833 contracts. That was set on December 1st of 2016. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today Friday, November 16, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart, and have a nice weekend. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's live Advantage Group Coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider.
preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash theoptionsinsider, or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com. 